Hi there, and this is Hoo-Ha Sports Today, your daily sports update and review show covering all that's happening in your world of football and beyond. Today, we will look at the English Championship as they have a new league leader after Brighton suffered an unexpected defeat. But first up, Malaysia's challenge in the Olympic qualifiers. Their opening group match against Japan in Fukuoka ended with a loss. The result was something the Malaysians will be proud of. After all, Japan, regular World Cup representatives from Asia, are ranked 15th while Malaysia are at 146. But the shots on target tell a different story. The conclusion, we were fortunate not to get thrashed. Man of the match, which even the Japanese would agree, was Malaysia's keeper Kairo Fang in Chetman. He made save after save and spending an equal amount of effort screaming at his back line. Because as far as the performance goes, we were poor in the first half, practically chasing the Blue Samurai's shadow, but fed better after the break. Coach Ong Kim Sui must have given the boys his version of the hairdryer treatment. In the past, our physique has always been a handicap when we compete in the global football arena. But we match the Japanese in terms of bills, but not in speed and scale. And looking at the Malaysian national football team fan Facebook page, they were relatively pleased. But Achap Ashraf says, and I agree, we were no match to the Jap space. It was like we were a step or two slower to react. Hope the boys will learn something from this match. Our next encounter will be against the Syrians on the 23rd of November at the Bukit Jalil Stadium. It's a Thursday, so we'll take a look at the English Championship. First up, the results from the weekend. Brighton succumbed to their first loss after seven games, going down to Leicester, leaving Middlesbrough as the only unbeaten side so far. And they continued their winning run with a 1-0 away win at Crystal Palace. Nottingham Forest lost at home as well, while Hull, Leeds, Peterborough and Reading all picked up three points at home. Southampton were in supreme form with a 4-1 dropping off Birmingham, while in the Monday night fixture, Ipswich pushed Coventry closer to the relegation zone. So the Saints go marching to the top of the championship, followed by the still unbeaten Middlesbrough as Brighton's loss drops them to third. Derby moved above West Ham and as I predicted last week, Leeds have found themselves way up in the top half of the table. And as far as you can see the points, they are all still very close. So what's in store this weekend in the championship? There's a late kickoff on Friday, which in my opinion should be the match of the week. It's the wounded Brighton who entertain the spirits at Leeds. Meantime, on Saturday, Middlesbrough should not lose to Ipswich, so they will most probably be still unbeaten. While if Peterborough can get a result at Upton Park, they will certainly be climbing up the ranks. Okay, tomorrow we will look at the Premier League fixtures and we will have a treat for all you Manchester United fans. Till then, from the team and I, it's bye for now.